drop shot rig is a popular rig among bass fishermen, but it really can be used with almost any species of fish. It's useful any time that you want to fish close to the bottom but not right on it. With a drop shot rig, the sinker is at the end of the line and then back up the line, usually a foot or two or a little bit more than that, is the hook. And so today I'm just going to take a few moments and show you how to tie one of these up. First you want to pass the line through the eye of the hook, making sure the hook is pointed back toward the fishing rod. And then bring the line back through the eye of the hook. And then you want to pull a good bit through here, whatever length you want between the hook and the sinker. And basically what I'm going to do here is tie the hook on with a polymer knot. To do that I just treat both of these strands as if they're one line and I tie a overhand knot here and then I pass the hook through the loop here that's in my right hand. Put the hook through there and then we just pull everything tight. So basically what I have now is I have the hook tied to the line and I have a tag end that's about 18 inches long and so at the end of that line is where I'm going to put the sinker. Now before you put the sinker on there's one last thing you should do and that is you should pass the line down through the eye of the hook one more time and what that does is make the hook um, stand straight out from the line as opposed to drooping down and that helps you with your bait presentation and also with the hook set. So once you do that now you're ready to put the sinker on. Now you could use a sinker like this and that works fine but I find that a split shot works even better and the reason for that a lot of times with the drop shot rig, um, if there's structure on the bottom, a lot of times you get snagged, and most of the times when you get snagged, you'll be snagged on the sinker. So I like to use a split shot, because even when a split shot is crimped completely tight, it still can pull off. And that way if you get snagged pretty badly, you can just give it a good tug, and the line will come loose, and then you still have your hook and your bait, and all you have to do is put another sinker on and toss out again. If you have any questions or have some tips for me, uh, put those in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.